And welcome back to the Longboard World Championship final heat. Wingnut here with Sam Bleakley. We are in Taiwan. This is going to be an exciting heat, but the conditions have changed out in the lineup. Yep, I've got no nails left, Wingnut. This is a nail biter. <laughs> I literally have nothing left because it comes down to the surf off. A rare moment here in competitive world longboarding to determine the world champion for 2017 because these two riders are tied on tour points. In that way, Taylor looking at that one going over it as Edward Del Perro, first wave of the heat. So it's a fast right. It's a foamy one, but he's got space, big re-entry, powerful tail surfing, no chance for the nose ride on the opening section, nice sweeping turn, there's four steps, can he hold this five, will he get a ten, nice and stretched on the nose, a long five through a foamy section, having to bounce here, kicks out, so gets a score on the board with the momentum, Edouard Del Piero, our reigning Taiwan of Open champion, Gets the first wave, TJ, out back for heat number two. We'll talk about that in a second as we go to this replay. Look at the projection and the flow and the flare. Bang, big, powerful tail surfing, but, but poise, control. There's the nice open face, drop knee turn, slashes some spray, sets up for the, for the nose wire, but doesn't connect with this section. If he could have been lower in this wave, would he have connected with that section for a 10 through the inside? But over to you, Wingnut, for Taylor Jensen's wave. And this wave. was the quick outside wave right behind Antoine's that Taylor dropped in on. He realized it wasn't going to connect through, so he got that quick nose ride and jumped out. That's why Edward did such a good job on that wave. As we see Taylor taking a left. So Taylor staying busy. Nice five, gets a close 10. Drop knee turn, sets up. Four steps to the nose. There's the five. Charging through this section, readjustment of the foot, back foot over the fins, big vertical backhand, top turn, throwing some spray, another sweeping roundhouse cutback, finding flow, finding rhythm. What I see from TJ is rhythm, you know, that presence, that movement, that tempo, that poise, stands much more upright than Edward. Definitely, you'd see that Edward keeping his center of gravity low, those knees really, really compressed, a 5.67. Nice stall there for TJ to get that five and that quick ten. I love the drop knee set up here for this section. Look at the foamy section, but using that nose right to trim through readjustment of the feet. Bang. Hits it hard. Throw some spray. But watch the, the flow and the sweep of this turn. The, that, that body language, that mastery, that presence, making it look so effortless, but yet s powerful surfing from the six foot four Californian Tila Tetsu. Tila, Tila, Tila. I'm getting tongue tied <laughs> in tight tongue now. I really tongue am. Tongue tied in tight tongue on Taylor Jensen's replay. It's a tongue twister as we see TJ from the drone footage. Look at that re-entry. Bang. Hits that hard. And look at the sweep and the flow on this cutback there. That was a foamy section, but his presence, his body language. This guy is so smooth. Taylor gets a 6.5 for that left-hander. Backed up by a 2.67. Edward kicks off with the 5.67. Taylor getting the better of the exchange. Be Team manager of the of the Chinese team as we see Edward Del Perro. There's the five, there's the ten. That was a tricky section to navigate. Can he find space here? That wave crushing, crashing down. Is he going to get onto the open face? He's having to grab that rail. He's holding on. He's battling with this wave, but he's found the open face again, Wingner. Great surfing from the Frenchman. He manages to work his way around that one, but that concerns me on this wave. He is a half a mile down the beach right now trying to find an extra point on the end of this wave with a re-entry. Very impressive how he hung on to that wing nut. Let's have a look at the replay. Look at this 10, it's very tricky. He gets the 10, look at that foam. Strong surfing from the Frenchman. See how wide he has to stand. He uses the rail grab to hang on. Most surfers would have, would have been knocked off by now, but yet taking that line, grabbing that rail, he finds some open face. He gets those two quick steps back up to the nose. Nearly falls, but hangs on. A long hang five. It's a fatter open he's section. Way out on the shoulder. He's not in the pocket. Out We've got to be critical about it. Exactly. So long ride, big, big wave, but on those rights as Taylor finds one right there. Look how smooth the face is. He got out, and I almost, you know, because he saw that section closing out in front of him there, but I like where Taylor's at, and I like that he's looking at the rights. Looking down the beach, as far as I can see, I still can't see Edward Del Perro. So let's get the replay of Taylor. Taylor, there's two steps to the nose, there's the five. He kicks out, he knows there's something better. Being sensible, great strategy, saving his energy, looking for the waves that will allow the big score. That getting some scores on the board is really important. And look how smooth that wave is for Taylor Jensen. 
an uncharacteristic bobble there, but he was able to pull it through and almost purling up to his shins in that board coming right out. Phenomenal composure and control, but I think that's a little costly when it comes to scoring. So riding the custom firewire designed by Dan Mann, looking very good on that opening nose ride, but then diving the nose, but yet somehow stopping the nose diving from happening as we see Taylor dipping under. But we're going to go to Rachel Tilly. With as we see, Edouard Del Perro finding one of those rights but there, there's the difference in being that smaller, lighter frame. You saw him get blown, that board blown out from underneath his feet. That wind really coming up. You could see the white caps on the face. Um he's got his priority, and he's going to get into that one. Nice top turn there. Gets the five, but you see the trajectory going down. Beautiful, powerful turn right there. That is Taylor's classic cutback. Gets a really nice nose ride. Big roundhouse, wraparound, rebound into the white water. That is going to replace that 5.1. Boom. That was Taylor Jensen at his best in extremely challenging conditions. Like you predicted, Wingnut, realizing that there was potential on these rights. It was a peaky wave, but the criticalness of everything all in the pocket. It wasn't the longest ride, but the degree of difficulty was hard. The control, the speed, power, and float variety using all of the board, all of the wave. I think that could be borderline excellent range. You got it. And look at that nose right at the very beginning. Nice footwork back coming off the bottom big powerful snap right there we'll see another quick nose ride then we're going to get the big taylor jensen wrap around rebound into the white water very nice very controlled power speed flow uh, taylor could get the third world title if the situation remains unsteady unchanged but here we go with edward del Perro having a look he's got a high line sets up nicely for the nose ride there's the five can he get the ten he doesn't pull into that wave a similar shape wave to the one that TJ got, but yet he wasn't able to stay with that. So, Edward will be paddling back out. Is he still going to have priority, Winger, or yeah. is Taylor near him? Yeah, he's got it. I think he, one of the reasons why he kicked out, he looked over his shoulder, he could see where Taylor was, and he realized that that wave, that energy that wave was going in the opposite direction. As we see Edward paddling north, but there's Taylor on a wave on the inside there. Nice high section. There's a five. It's a good wall, Winger. Really nice quick 10. What do you think about this? I <laughs> I think there was a quick nose ride there, but I think Taylor saw that it wasn't going to do it. And I think he's smart. He doesn't want to get drawn too far inside and have to do that paddle back out because there is a big set on the horizon right here. As we look at Taylor's quick nose ride, there's the five, a little bit out on the shoulder there, and then he's going to back pedal to try to set up and realize he just wants to get out. And here comes a peak that looks like it might shape up for him. Might even be able to go right on this one. Let's see which, what he chooses to do. Beautiful. Taking his time, he wanted to be able to set up for that nose right. Nice footwork back. Lands that, that re-entry. Quick pulls the exit. That is going to help him for sure. Definitely going to drop that lowest score. Up. Look, he has to wait. And then... He accelerates here, two steps to the nose, there's the five, and look at the control, landing this big airdrop floater. You can see the air coming underneath his fins. I don't think it's going to be the eight, eight, two, seven he needs, but it might replace his five, six, seven, and it might give him a better shot at the score to win the 2017 World Longboard Championships. What a floater that was. And Powerful, so, sir. And so he gets a 6.93. That's his highest score of the heat. And I think back to that first right-hander. They're both fans of Edward. They want him to get the chance to get the score he needs. But it's Taylor Jensen looking like he might well win his third World Longboard title. As there's going to be a rider up and riding just in time, TJ gets the wave and he gets the win. Three times World Longboard Champion. Congratulations, Taylor. TJ Jensen on a victory lap there. He is our world champion. Wingnut, wow. That was fantastic. He had this heat. He did such a great job controlling it from the start. Here's that replay. Love that tight footwork. Sticks that nose ride on the start. That drop knee turn. The way he launches out of that drop knee turn, the way he mm -hmm. sets it up so low, he gets so much projection out of it, it allows him to walk right to the nose. And here's that nose ride coming right. That right that kind of set up his momentum. Beautiful, powerful turn right there. Another nose ride. He's going to come back to the tail, and we'll get to see one of those really big wraparound, smooth, powerful Taylor Jensen turns. But... Uh, a fantastic performance. It's nice to see another world title.
go to Taylor Jensen. Mm, and well deserved. I mean, he's absolutely. It's so well deserved that Taylor's got this as his third title under his feet. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a couple more from Taylor's in the years to come. He is so consistent.